Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another home video tour. Today, we're touring together the Galante floor plan. I believe one of the best single story floor plans that we have throughout the whole valley. We're talking about a Toll Brothers built home. This is the Galante starts at a starting price of $770,000. We are located up in North Las Vegas. To be specific, we are at Elkhorn Grove, surrounded by beautiful million plus dollar homes around us. And we have also lots of lots that have, you know, ranch style homes, custom builds, lots of uh, very, private area i would say because homes are a little bit spread out the density of the population density is a lot lower out here in this part of town and uh it's a nice uh nice place to either retire grow a family whatever it is that you plan on doing uh out here in las vegas now uh, the start price starting price is 770 but the price does go up from there depending on the lot that you get and we're going to talk about all of that together a lot are about 8,000 square feet um, per lot and you have a really good size lot as you can see here uh, as you'll see in the in the model home you'll have a lot of uh, pools and options you know to put in pool and everything now if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and if you guys need any help purchasing real estate out here in Las Vegas feel free to reach out to me I am a realtor that specializes in uh, new construction but I also do a lot of resale homes uh, that can help you get to the perfect home for you so all my information is going to be down below uh, to get you started and uh, let's get back to the video now the Galante floor plan offers 3,100 square feet and we have quite some options including an option to get a next gen over to the left side of the house where the first two rooms up front become the next gen we do have a three car garage still beautiful modern craftsman elevation we do have some other options like the modern farmhouse a very popular one just like that house and then they have the spanish contemporary option which is the included one this would be about six thousand dollars more on the base price just to have the stacked stone as well as the roof tiles being flat and other things like this tile accent up front. Beautiful 36 inch wide doors, eight foot high. As you walk in, this house is going to be decked out with upgrades. Now that's not going to be the case, obviously, for their homes that they offer. But this is all things; these are all things that you can do yourself after. As soon as you walk in, the first thing that you're going to notice is a very wide hallway, about eight to about eight to nine feet in width from wall to wall, allowing you you know plenty of space. It gives you a nice greeting uh, feeling. Then we have this uh, glass door den, which is super nice. It gives that luxury feel, as well as the template ceilings. Uh, faux beams, you have a huge living room and a beautiful open floor plan. Look at that kitchen right there. Stunning. We'll get there in a second. We can see here this den, which is an option. You can get the glass door. You can do just the option of keeping it open, making this a formal dining room, or you can close it off as an office, or maybe you can just put one wall right there, which I don't know why anybody would do that and uh, make it uh, some kind of uh, den. Now, as we start off on the front left side of the house, you see two bedrooms here. This would be the front bedroom. So it's the one all the way up on the front of the house. And it is pretty spacious. We do have a Jack and Jill bathroom. And then we have a spacious room. I mean, 13 by 11, 10 foot ceilings helps a lot to make the space feel very, very spacious uh, as we walk into the jack and jill bathroom we'll see the entrance from the other bedroom we have a two undermount sink situation so you also have a door uh, to the rest of the bathroom which is convenient if you have two people using this bathroom someone could be in this room at the same time as someone that could be in this room so uh, beautiful stack 
uh, tile all the way to the ceiling. They did. What they normally do here is they use this kind of tile on the flooring, but it is a beautiful choice. We have uh, golden uh, fixtures, black fixtures, all that the trims uh, have been upgraded as well as the tile. And then, uh, you know, something like this is gonna cost you about $5,000 per, bath per bathroom. We also have uh, this beautiful cabinet, which is more of a European modern style, but still it has that kind of rustic feel because of the brown tone to it. So really, really nice what uh, Toll Brothers does with their design center. Second bedroom is about the same size as the other one. It's about 13 by 11. Maybe this one might have a little bit more room just because we have that um, closet right there, which this one doesn't have. It has this walk-in closet. Really nice and convenient. So favorite kid would probably get this one, unless you decide to make this a next gen. So how would that work? They would put a door right here. When you walk in, you have a door going to the next gen. This is gonna be shared between, uh, Just it's just gonna be for the person living there and they're gonna take up the two rooms. This would become your living space. They'll have a nice uh, set of this closet. It'll have a nice bar area. And then you'll have the bathroom there and then the bedroom on this side. As you walk in, we'll see over to the left, an extra bedroom. And this home, what they did is they made it into a, an ensuite. So what they have here is a full bathroom and also your closet. So those two bedrooms up front share one bathroom. This one has its own bathroom and it's probably bigger. Yeah, it is a bigger home, a bigger bedroom. We have about 11 feet here by 14, maybe 12 by 14, very spacious. And you see here the zero threshold shower, which is an option with them. This one has a lot of upgrades, including the three eighths of an inch um, glass. It's like 1500 for that. You have the zero threshold option, which is about $3,000 per shower, plus all the shower tile that they put in this one. I would, I would assume about $6,000 extra for the tile material. So it gets, you know, expensive. You're looking at around 10 grand for that option right there, just the way you see it. That's why these model homes end up selling for a lot of money because every inch of this house is highly upgraded. As we look across, as I mentioned, this would be that option for the dead. I love this setup because not only uh, when you wa walk into this house, you have this opening and uh, you can see through the glass, which keeps it open. From a design standpoint, that's genius rather than having a wall or something here. And on top of that, it makes it feel more luxurious and being an office it's a perfect setup when you walk in away from the bedrooms if people are sleeping you can close the door still work i think this is genius to add a practical yet uh, beautiful design to the house as you walk through your living space and your dining room and kitchen you can see this is another uh, thing it's when you're walking into this house you don't see right away the kitchen so it's kind of hidden i i personally do like that option but it's not necessary a deal breaker for me personally. We do have these 10 foot ceilings throughout the house. We see this uh, living room, very spacious. What they did in this design, they made it more of a longer couch because it has a lot of length to it. So expect yourself to purchase a huge 85 inch or bigger TV for here because you're gonna be pretty far out. A good problem to have, I think. A good way to justify a huge screen TV, right? As we go over here, we find uh, your dining room. Look how spacious this is. There's a plenty of room, about six feet to the table here, which is really nice. Another five feet on that side. So you have plenty of room to put in a bigger table if you desire to do so. Lots of light coming in from these windows. And the beams, I mean, these are, I call them uh, faux beams, but here we have, this is real wood. It's just, you know, it doesn't serve any structural purpose. So that's why it's faux, but, it is beautiful, nevertheless. Huge island over here, they did the extended island. And on top of that, they did the waterfall finish, which adds a nice extra touch of luxury. And when you do get the extended island, what it does it is it extends, extends the island by about a foot on this side. And then you get also the cabinets underneath. And that's that foot of cabinet. Not much storage into it, but really nice option. You have here some extra cabinet space for your like an extra pantry 
or storage of big pots and pans you can see here and soft clothes these cabinets are probably going to run you around 20 uh, well 15 to 20 thousand uh of an upgrade just because what they do is not only the level of upgrade is going to be higher due to the quality of cabinet that you're getting but on top of that you get the ducktail finish because you do have the soft close option on these cabinets and then adding the the bronze hardware and all that stuff it does quite get expensive beautiful uh, marble tile when the with the herringbone finish well set up on that and then we have your appliance package we have the gen air this is right now the official toll brothers upgrade option which is the gen air and you can get you know obviously six burner nice luxury touch to the house with this appliance package one little flaw probably this uh microwave which is going to be loved by anybody uh that that is less than five feet tall uh, but hated by people uh my size which is you know six feet or higher another extra pantry space i love all this storage space as well as your full walk-in pantry beautiful lots of room in here so great layout so far let me know what you guys think down in the comments we also have uh in this house your well i was almost almost gonna skip this we have your gen air refrigerator lots of bottles obviously we take one all the time we gotta stay hydrated in our las vegas desert freezer to the left fridge to the right then you have the double oven built in when you get these kind of options you'll have obviously upgraded cabinets wrapping all the the ovens as well as the uh, the fridge sometimes you got to consider the included option does not wrap the fridge onto the side so that the little things that that matter at the end of the day as we go over on this side we'll find before we get to the primary which is back there we'll find over here your entrance from the garage your powder room perfect for guests right here right off the kitchen which is not right next to the kitchen perfect as well as easy for guests to come in go to the bathroom and you can see here also your door now this is going to lead you to your three car garage there's not much that we can say about the garage and it is closed because they use it as an office as well but um what what you should expect three car garage tankless water heater soft water loop the usual things in this home what they have is an upgraded sink it doesn't come with the sink you can add that you can add the cabinets above as well it comes with a wooden rack and then you have your washer and dryer which are also optional so in here you're pretty much not going to get anything that you see on this wall but you can do that as an upgrade this probably has about ten thousand dollars in upgrades between the sink cabinets cabinets and washer and dryer going on to the other side of the house always blown away by this layout i love it you get a nice uh single story the, the patio is in the middle of the house which i do like a lot versus having one on the corner i personally like it if you have any neighbors next to you that's going to be private regardless although this is an all single story community on this side of the of that community so you should have only single story homes around you uh, 12 foot sliding door is it 12 feet this one yeah it is 12 feet and you get that beautiful spool is what they did in here or uh you know it's big enough to be a pool but it's a spa technically you can use it as a pool or you just don't heat it up and don't turn it on or you use it as a spa great option if you're limited a little bit on the on the space in your backyard and check this out beautiful wooden floor well wooden uh, planks on the ceiling give me that custom look stunning this this bedroom perfect size not too big not too small about 18 by 18 by 19 well 17 by 19 i would say yeah great size bedroom and then in here is where the magic happens as you can see we have your uh, walk-in closet and then this would be the optional shower which is like a four by four 
definitely worth it in my opinion. It'll cost like five grand to do this, but the included one is three by three. I don't think it's big enough for this house. This one, they extend an extra foot on each side, which takes away a little bit from your closet technically because the closet would be a little bit further in, but you're not missing out on much uh, closet space. As a matter of fact, probably not missing out at all. Beautiful size closet. And in here, they did the custom closet finish, which is going to be done through Closet Las Vegas. And then, you know, uh, it will be part of your mortgage pretty much. One and two sinks, very separate. However, we do have a bench here in between. You have an option to put in a tub for about eight grand, which will give you pretty much a self-standing tub in the middle. Beautiful option if you're into tubs, definitely do it. And then your water closet over on this side. Let's go out to the backyard, check it out. So let's talk about numbers here. If you're looking at numbers, 8,000 square feet lot is going to cost you anywhere between five to $10,000, and which is very low in my opinion. So you're probably going to be around 780, let's say, starting price on this house. Plus you go to the design center. Right now they do have some incentives, so it's going to cost you less uh, than what I'm going to quote you at. But if you go to the design center, this house is going to require you to put in about 150, 100 to $150,000 in upgrades because Toll Brothers is expensive. Now, you don't have to put any upgrades if you don't want to and keep the base price, but most people do put in at least the structure options and then you do your own upgrades after. But this house probably requires between structural and design center about 150, it could be even 200,000 to make it look similar to the model home, which is gonna put you somewhere almost to a million dollars for this house. And then you can see really good sized backyard. You have your waterfall finish here in your spool. This is a great option. I, I could possibly build this in my house. Love it. Just a little bit above ground, but still you're not digging down much. This is a great option. I love it. And then a good sized backyard. You can see here your built in barbecue love what they did with this one give you more privacy although you're not going to see your neighbors next door probably because of the fact that it's on all single story side of the community and then that built-in cover patio in the middle love it look at that shot right there might be the thumbnail now what's going to come included you'll get the pavers underneath the cover patio your lighting and everything but everything outside here is going to be just dirt then you're going to use your plain imagination to go ahead spend a bunch of money in the backyard and get you the perfect backyard but this is not for someone that is trying to save money because obviously that would be a different product that you're looking to buy maybe nearby and that's why you need a realtor uh, like myself to help you guide guide yourself throughout this building a home process to find the perfect neighborhood for you whether that's something like this, it's gonna be like your forever home. And uh, once you get it, you're not gonna move anymore. Or maybe it's gonna be something where you end up, you know, uh, buying another house and you get to customize it and make it look like this, but you go into the house and it's, it's a lower price, you know, with a different builder. And, uh, you know, it really depends on what's important to you as well as location, crime rate, school districts, anything that is important to you. That's why you need a realtor to help you guide you through this process. If you don't have one, I would love to be the realtor to help you out. All my information is down below. Also, if you're not quite ready to buy yet, but you want to go into the sales office to see this house, like, oh, I'm just going to go on a Sunday. Tell them that you are with me as your realtor, that I'm going to be representing as your realtor. That way, if it does happen that you end up buying this house for whatever reason, I can still represent you. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.